What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and before I get into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here hit the subscribe button below so you can be kept in the loop of all upcoming drops. So we don't have a ton of topics for this video but we do have some pretty big information. So from Jordan Brand I have a big update on the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. A lot of people have been asking me specifics on the colorway because it could either make or break this shoe resembling the OG or not. So that will be later on in the video. As well, I have exclusive news on the second J Balvin Air Jordan 3 releasing summer 2024. That pair is known as Rio. As well, there's some more from Jordan brand, a solid lineup from Nike, and that's going to do it. So now let's get into the news. In this video, I have information on a couple upcoming Nike Cortez releases, and the first one is the simple black and white colorway. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a women's exclusive release. Hopefully, they drop a men's pair soon, and they're scheduled to release on August 4th via Nike.com, and the retail price will be 90 This model, I really like a lot. It's the Nike Air Alpha Force 88. Now... They recently released the Chicago pair, and they also dropped a Billie Eilish pair at Select Boutiques, which is basically the same colorway as the Chicago. It just has Billie Eilish branding on the insoles. Unfortunately, I missed out on that pair. However, I'm pretty sure I could still track them down for a reasonably good price. But what's next is the white neutral gray pair shown. So this is another OG colorway. I believe there's a little bit of a difference in the shading on the swoosh. But other than that, this pair mimics that of the OG release. So they feature a white neutral gray, black, and tech gray color combination. Constructed with textured leather on the upper with the traditional perforations, more leather is used on the tongues in swoosh logos. Following we have mesh on the collars with black across the strap, and the classic Air Force logo is placed on the tongues. Finishing the look is a black outsole. So unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date for this pair. They are going to release sometime soon, and the retail price will be 140 This piece of news I actually broke on Sunday via sneakerfiles.com, and it's that the Nike Cortez Forrest Gump will be making a return summer 2024. The shoes originally released in 1972, and in 2022, the model celebrated its 50th anniversary. In 2018, this colorway also released, and then we saw a basic version return in 2019. Also in 2023, Clot had put their own twist on the silhouette and came in the Forrest Gump theme. So for those that don't know why the shoe was called Forrest Gump, I'm sure everybody knows though, is that there is a scene in the movie where Forrest, played by Tom Hanks, was gifted the OG Cortez by Ginny Curran. I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. I'm not too sure. I saw the movie a long time ago. I just remember calling her Ginny. I don't ever remember hearing her last name. And then he goes on this 15,000 mile run and then all of a sudden just stops and goes home. But the shoes will feature a white, varsity red, varsity blue, and metallic silver color combination. This will be a premium model, and it's also labeled a quick strike, so it might not be available just anywhere. And like I mentioned, summer 2024 is when they're expected to release, and currently, I don't have a retail price. Nike SB has quite a few upcoming collaborations that, in my opinion, are really nice. One of those is with Tight Booth. They are a Japanese skate shop. Now, we've seen the shoes before, but some on-feet images recently came out. So like always, I like to showcase the on-feet look. But other than that, we don't have any new information. They are scheduled to release holiday 2023, which we already knew. And the retail price will be 135 As soon as there's more information on this pair, I'll make sure to let you guys know. I believe on Friday, we received a first look at the Powerpuff Girls Nike SB Dunk Low. Now, this is part of a pack that will release later this year. Some of you who are a bit younger might not remember the show. It originally aired back in 1998 and ran until 2004. The show originally aired on Cartoon Network, and basically, according to Wikipedia, it's an American superhero animated television series, and the show is centered on Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup 
three kindergarten aged girls with superpowers. The pair we received a first look on is known as Blossom, and that shoe features a lotus pink, digital pink, and medium soft pink color combination. Now the characters are known for their unique big eyes, which you can see placed on the hill. Well, one of the eyes is placed on the hill. We only have one shoe here. We don't have the pair. I assume the other eye will be on the other hill. Now there's two other colorways. One represents bubbles, and that pair will feature blue chill, deep royal blue, and active pink. And then the third one will be for buttercup. This one's labeled a quick strike, so more than likely the more limited of the two, potentially. And that shoe features mean green, black, and lotus pink. There's also rumors going around that there's a fourth pair, and that is for Mojo Jojo. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I watched maybe a couple episodes when I was younger. I don't really remember the show. I don't remember this character too much, to be honest. But yeah, there's rumors that there's a fourth pair for him. Now, the information going around is all over the place. I haven't received confirmation just yet, but one of the main rumors that I'm seeing is that one colorway will be available to the public. It'll be like a general release, more easier to obtain. And then the second colorway will be an exclusive to select skate shops, while the third is rumored to be a friends and family pair. Again, this is not confirmed. It's just what I'm seeing going around. So if the Mojo Jojo pair does release, I really don't know how that will fit into the whole lineup. Meaning if one's a GR, one's only available at select retailers, and then the third will be a friends and family, what would the Mojo Jojo be? Anyways, we have an expected release date for December 14th, and the retail price will be $135 each. I think the concept is really cool, but I wasn't really a big fan of the show. In 1998, I was 14 years old, so I think it was a little bit out of my range. I did watch Cartoon Network, but... I really didn't watch this show too much. Anyways, I'm curious to see what the Bubbles pair looks like since I'm a huge fan of blue sneakers. So that one's going to have very shades of blue, but we should be getting more images soon. So far, what is your thoughts on the Powerpuff Girls Nike SB Dunk Low, specifically the pair for Blossom, which is shown? Jason Tatum has another upcoming colorway on the Jordan Tatum one. This one is known as Wave Runner, which does feature South Beach vibes. So basically every Jordan Tatum one that's released has been connected to Tatum, something to do with his personal life. And this pair is said to take inspiration from his family's water trips. I guess as a kid, they would go to the beach. I don't know if they specifically went to Miami or not, but the shoes come dressed in a Lagoon Pulse, Pink Blast, Psychic Purple, White, Lime Glow, and Black color combination. I'm not going to lie. I like these a lot. Something different. It's very, very colorful. And one of the nicer details on the shoe is the Palm Tree logo, which lands right next to the JT branding on the tongues. The pair will release in men's and grade school sizing. The retail price for men's is $120, while grade school costs you $90. And the release date is October 20th. I believe when I went to the mall recently, I saw at least one of these colorways sitting. I could be wrong on that, but the Jordan Jumpman Pro Quick, which was worn by Eddie Jones, has now returned. So the shoes originally dropped in 1998, and in 2017, we saw the pair return in white, royal, blue, and black. So for 2023, we have three colorways releasing. Well, two of them have already released. The first pair is done in black and anthracite. The second is my favorite, which is known as Chicago, and that shoe features a white, varsity red, and black color combination. And then the third pair, which is, again, really nice, comes dressed in white, university blue, and black. So if you're interested in the Chicago in the black pair, they have already released on July 21st, actually, via Nike.com. Now for the University Blue pair, the shoes have yet to release. We don't have a release date just yet. But just giving my opinion, I'm a fan of the model and I do plan on picking up the Chicago pair at the minimum. But be patient on this. Usually these go on sale. I know team models get a bad rap, but I feel for a lot of people who grew up in the 90s, 
know about these shoes. These were actually really dope back in the day. A lot of the Team Jordans in the late 90s were actually really nice. But I would just hold off so you can catch them on sale. Anyways, the retail price is $145 each. This video actually has a lot of exclusive news. It may not have a lot of different topics, but there's a good amount of stuff to go over. And this you may have already seen going around. I leaked this on Saturday with Z Sneakerhead Z. And the Air Jordan 1 High OG Green Glow will release summer 2024. Now, I was told from my sources this is an accurate mock-up of what's releasing. It does look similar to the Lucky Green pair. It also comes in the same blocking. But the green used is a bit lighter. You guys might remember back in the day the Air Jordan 4 Green Glow dropped. I'll say at least one more model that features Green Glow that will release in 2024. But it's not the 4. It may be, but that's not the pair I know of as of yet. But getting onto the shoes, specifically they'll come dressed in a white, black, and green glow color combination. Again, this is a mock-up but I was told it's an accurate representation of what's releasing. So we got white across the base, midsole, and toe box, while black lands on the eye stays, wings logo, collar, tongue, laces, and the swoosh logos. Finishing the look is green glow on the heel, ankle flap, and the rubber outsole. No specific release date for this pair, but they are expected to release summer 2024, and the retail price will be 180. I know we're a couple months away from the J Balvin Air Jordan 3 Medellin Sunset releasing. However, I have exclusive details on the upcoming J Balvin Air Jordan 3 Rio. Now, before I get into things, first off, this is just a mock-up. We don't know how they're actually going to look. The mock-up is also based off his first drop, the Medellin Sunset. So that's why you see some gradient detailing. So what I can confirm is that the shoes will feature a black, solar flare, and total crimson abyss color combination. Now, why is this shoe named Rio? Well, J Balvin has a son named Rio, so more than likely this pair is inspired by his son. There probably is going to be a lot of detailing connected to his son, which in my opinion will be pretty dope. You can also expect the Jumpman and J Balvin branding throughout. Now, I don't have confirmation on if they're gonna drop in kid sizing, but since this is inspired by his son, there is a possibility and no specific release date, but they are expected to debut summer 2024. And the retail price is potentially 250. That's what the Medellin Sunset pair will retail at. Now there's a possibility these could be a little more or a little less. I don't have the retail price locked in just yet. Now, let me know your thoughts on this pair dropping below. If they look like this, would you buy them? Or do they need to be something totally different for them to catch your eye? As most of you know, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue will be returning in 2024. This is one of the original Air Jordan 4 colorways, which dropped back in 1989. This is a shoe that a lot of people have been waiting for, but... A lot of people want to see Jordan Brand do it right. And a lot of people have been asking, well, is it going to be like the 2006 or the 2012 pair? I believe the 2012 pair had white, so the actual shade wasn't really close to the OG. In my opinion, I like the 2006 pair more because it reminded me of the OG drop. Well, I do know the official colorway now. Initially, I was just told that, hey, the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue is making a return, but that colorway is off-white, military blue, and neutral gray. So that's the exact colorway of the 2006 pair, so we can expect something closer to the OG, because these will also have Nike Air branding on the heels, which we already know, and the overall shape should be better compared to the 2012 and the 2006. Also, what I'm being told is, this is going to be the main release of summer 2024, I almost said 23, for Jordan brand. So what that means is, more than likely, I don't have confirmation on this, but I would only expect there to be full family sizing available. This is also going to be a GR, so there's going to be a ton of pairs dropping. And as of now, they are expected to release in May. We don't have a specific release date. It's possible that the date could move around, and the retail price... Could be 210, but I've noticed that the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagined have gone up five bucks to 215. So it's very possible that these may see a $215 retail price. Also, I just want to let you guys know once again, I know I've stated this prior, but 
These will not be part of the reimagined series, so you don't need to expect various materials or any changes, no age detailing or suede all over. I know this is early, but in my opinion, since I like this shoe so much, this might be top shoe for me in 2024. Again, there's a ton of stuff I don't even know about, nor does a lot of other people, and that could change my mind. But yeah, so far, this is the pair I'm excited for to drop next year. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you plan on picking these up when they drop or passing? And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Also, if you haven't done so yet, turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, I'm going to have one short dropping this week, and I also have another news video planned. I have stuff to leak every day until probably mid-next week. So I'm going to save some good stuff for either Thursday or Friday's video. I'm not sure which day I'm going to drop the other news video. More than likely, it's going to be Thursday, though. So like always, be on the lookout for those two upcoming videos. Also, let me know what you liked or disliked in this video. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.